In this example, we want to find the derivative of f of x equals to tangent x minus 1 all divided by secant x. All right, so uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and apply the quotient rule for this. So we're going to call this f of x, and the denominator we'll call this g of x. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and apply the quotient rule for this problem, and then um, we'll end up getting our we'll end up getting our derivative, and then I'll show another way uh, to get this, uh, and that's going to involve simplifying the function, and then we can uh, take the derivative of that. And you'll see we should be able to get the same result. Okay, so let's go ahead and apply the quotient rule for this. So we're going to have f prime of x equals to uh, the derivative of f. So we have the derivative of tangent x minus 1 times the denominator minus the derivative of the denominator, which is in this case secant x, times the numerator, so tangent x minus 1. All this is going to be divided by the denominator squared. So secant squared x. Okay, so now we can go ahead and uh, find the uh, derivatives of those uh, of those portions. So we're going to find the derivative of this. So that's going to be secant uh, squared x. And then minus 1, the derivative of minus 1 is just 0. So we have secant squared x times secant x. Okay, and then we have the derivative of secant x, which is secant x times tangent x. Okay. So I'm going to put a bracket here just to remind myself to distribute the negative. Okay. okay, so the derivative of secant x was secant x tangent x. And then this is going to be, this is going to get multiplied by tangent x minus 1. Okay, and this is all divided by secant squared x. Okay. So simplifying this, we're going to get secant cubed x minus, um, go ahead and distribute the secant x tangent x. So we're going to get secant x times tangent squared x. And then, okay, so we have a minus, right, so we have a minus here and a minus here, so that's going to give us a positive, okay, so we're going to get positive secant x tangent x. Okay, this is divided by secant squared x. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, we want to simplify this as much as we can. And that's going to involve writing everything in terms of sine and cosine. And then things will, uh, some things may cancel out, okay, and then it will simplify. Okay, so first thing, uh, it looks like we have a secant x in common, so we can go ahead and factor that out. So we have secant squared x minus tangent squared x plus tangent x. And this is all divided by secant squared x. Okay. So um, that's going to leave us with a secant x in the denominator. Okay. So um, that's going to, so the secant squared x will cancel out with one of the sec, with the secant x in the numerator. And another thing is we see that this part here, secant squared x minus tangent squared x, that is a trig identity. So that is equal to 1. Okay, so we're going to get uh, 1. So we have 1 plus tangent x. Okay, so remember this is, right, this is equal to 1. 
and this is all divided by secant x now. Okay, because we get right, we have secant right, we have secant x divided by secant squared x, so it's going to leave us with a secant x in the in the denominator. Okay, from here uh, we can rewrite everything in terms of sine and cosine, so we're going to get one plus sine x over cosine x all divided by one over cosine x, right? So that is secant x. Secant, so secant x, that's the reciprocal of cosine. Okay. Uh, from here, we can go ahead and multiply the top and bottom by cosine x. Okay, so we're going to get so we get cosine x plus sine x over cosine x times cosine x. So that's going to cancel out the cosine x. So we're left with sine x here. Okay, and on the bottom we just get one. Okay, because we have cosine x over cosine x. Okay, so that is that is the uh, that is the derivative. That's the, and that's the simplified form, okay? So now let's do this another approach, okay? Let's um, simplify the function we're given and then take the derivative, okay? So let's look at that, uh, let's look at that. Okay, so we wanna simplify the original function this time. Okay, so we can do that by, uh, again, rewriting everything in terms of sine and cosine. Okay, so tangent x, that is sine x over cosine x. And we have minus 1, and all this is divided by 1 over cosine x. Okay. Okay, so again, okay, we have, all right, so this is, um, we can go ahead and multiply the top and bottom by cosine x. Okay, so distributing the cosine in the numerator, we're going to get sine x, um, and then we get minus cosine x, and then in the denominator, we get cosine x over, over cosine x, which is 1. Okay, so we're left with this. Okay, we're left with sine x minus x. So that would, that, so that's a function, okay? So the function, the original function is equivalent to this. So now we can easily take the derivative. So we're going to get uh, f prime of x. We take the derivative of sine, which is cosine x. The derivative of cosine is minus sine x, but we have a minus here, so it's going to turn to positive. Okay. All right. So we get the same result. Okay. So sometimes it's. Uh, as you can see with the second part here, it's sometimes easier to simplify. Um, well, what I mean is it's easier to find the derivative when we simplify first and then take the derivative. Okay, sometimes, not always, though. So, okay. Um, so this was you know a good, you know, a good example of showing the quotient rule and then showing that you can simplify the function and then take the derivative, we get the same result. Okay.